Welcome to This Week at CBN. Today we're going to the nation of the Philippines, where the death toll is now over 500 after that major typhoon that hit on Tuesday. And more than 400 people are still missing. And on top of that tragedy, over 300,000 people have lost their homes. CBN Disaster Relief is on the scene, helping survivors recover from the massive damage. Here's reporter Lucille Toulouse. Powerful typhoon Bopa wiped out whole villages in the southern island of Mindanao, killing hundreds in mudslides and flash floods. Behind me are 70 more dead bodies that were brought here last night to this funeral parlor, which is about an hour drive away from where these people were found. And the lack of funeral parlors and morgues and body bags is now a problem that the local government is facing now that the death toll continues to rise. Residents in this hard-hit area say they never had storms before in this part of Mindanao. I live here for 50 years and the storms never passed our town. Nothing is left with our belongings. Everything is gone. Charlita and her neighbors now take shelter in a nearby school. Because of the lack of evacuation centers, many victims also stay in makeshift tents along the highways. CBN has dispatched its staff and volunteers to help these people. Disaster relief efforts are now being conducted in the worst affected areas, especially where people have not been given aid. This is one thing unique about the disaster relief efforts of CBN, and that is church partners gather the people, debrief them, share with them the word of God, and comfort them in prayer. God is teaching us a very big lesson. We have forgotten Him. This is a reminder that we should always pray to Him. The residents in this village are very happy to receive mats and blankets from CBN. Thank you very much, CBN. This is the very first time that the group gave us help. I lost everything. That's why these things you gave us are very precious to me. Government authorities say some one million families have been affected by BOPA. As a response to the enormous need, CBN will continue to conduct several disaster relief efforts, medical assistance and feeding programs to the victims in the next weeks. Lucille Talusan, CBN News, Compostela Valley, Philippines. This is a tragedy. That the magnitude is just unimaginable, uh, where hundreds are dead, uh, missing. Uh, and over 300,000 people are without homes today. But we want to be there. When disasters strike, we want to be able to strike back and strike back with love and compassion and help in time of need. Uh, if you're a member of the 700 Club, thank you, because you're part of that relief effort. You're part of telling the people of Mindanao and the Philippines that God loves them, we love them, and we want to be a help for them in their time of need. Well, in Further news on what Operation Blessing is doing, it's now been uh, rated one of America's top charities, and that's according to Consumer Digest. The publication's December issue ranked more than 200 charities into seven categories. The rankings are based on charity spending efficiency and the percentage of generated income spent on their mission. Well, Operation Blessing International was named among the top three charities in the humanitarian category receiving a 98.7% efficiency rating, and that's all because CBN is there. Uh, we, we take on the administrative costs so that the money that Operation Blessing raises can go to help people in the field. Well, that's it at This Week at CBN. God bless you.